Hi everyone and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. We need to head to the grave uh, the graveyard, <laughs> the junkyard. So yeah, to meet Frank. So we can find out where uh, Sarah is staying. But first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look around and see if there is anything new here. I doubt it, but we'll do it anyway. Still can't fucking believe that David went through my stuff. Oh, and that David went through our stuff. That's just bang out of order. He even went through our laundry. What? Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. Hmm, you never know. All right, what else, have, what have we got in here? If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. We've got the skateboard. Sorry, board. I've got a real ride to fix up now. Yeah, we have. Oh, plant. Have I ever watered that? Hmm. Then um, maybe we should. But I'd rather do it. I, I, we don't seem to have any water about. Hmm. Maybe come back to that. Uh, anything over this side? Alarm clock. God. It's way too early to be up on a Sunday. What time is it exactly? Seven o'clock. Mm, nah, it's not too early. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. Yep, scribble you out, Chloe. All right, the globe. Huh. Almost huh? forgot I had this. I haven't played with it since uh, ever. So it's got to be spun then, hasn't it? You've got to spin a globe. Is that it? California, huh? Would be cool to see where Rachel grew up. All right. What do we have on our computer now? I what I can find out about Rachel's mom. Ooh, yeah, good point. Let's Figures. take a look. Uh, one result. Winchester High School gives Fisher a water Sarah Gerhardt. Long Beach Oracle. Blah, 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 blah. March 16th, 1989. Each year, Winchester High School grants the Fisher Award named after famous explorer Robert Fisher to the student who best... Blah, blah, yeah. That's about it. Try another search. All right, not much. Then. Um, what? Victoria Chase commented on a photo you tagged in. To view the photo, make sure you click on the following link. Nice to see my work is appreciated. Oh, yes. <laughs> Just in case you needed more proof that Blackwell is better off without Chloe Price. Armand, so that's what girls take forever doing in the bathroom. Yeah. Trevor, mad respect. Taylor, no one asks you, Trevor. Steph, burn. Alyssa, wow, Chloe, that was classy. <laughs> A further layer of nuance. <laughs> Nathan almost pissed himself. Yeah, just a bit. Review Blackwell's Tempest Takes Shakespeare by Storm by Daniel Balk. Last night, the Tempest was reborn upon Blackwell Academy's outdoor stage. The unique and bold direction of Travis Keaton gave the show an updated feel, typically absent fr from overdone classic works. Stella in the lead role, the young Rachel Amber commanded the stage just as Prospera herself commands the unknown. Where the special mention was Nathan, Preston, uh, Nathan Prescott, excuse me, as Caliban, this promising young actor's weak, anxious, trembling interpretation of the enslaved monster added a further layer of nuance severely underappreciated by the teenage crowd <clears throat> thou art an idiot yet the real star tonight is in the role of Ariel was newcomer, newcomer Chloe Price whose chemistry with Miss Amber's Prospera surpassed even that of Miranda and Ferdinand as she explored Ariel's struggle between loyalty and liberty 
Miss Price gave a truly genuine performance. Indeed, when Prospera refuses Ariel's freedom in an excellent revision of the original script, I have never seen a more believable portrayal of surprise than Miss Price's authentic astonishment. Five stars. Cool. Yeah. <coughs> skip. When to quit an interview with Skip Matthews, Pisshead Funtman. Arcadia Bay Online News So a charmingly homemade music video for your song Nothing Wrong hit the internet last night in the last 12 hours it has accumulate, accumulated over 200,000 hits Skip Matthews Yeah, we were as surprised as everyone else AB Online How can you explain the sudden appearance of your first music video? SM I just really needed a change I was working full time at a job I hated and I finally worked up the nerve to quit and it was so freeing. I just felt the need to channel that feeling into something new. All right, cool. Ooh, a photo, and it's broken. So much has changed. I um, wonder if you'd even recognize me now. Yeah, probably not much. Very different looking. All right, let's, I think we have a sit in the smoke, don't you? Why not? It's so weird to be home. As much as this place sucks, at least it's not full of secrets. That you know of. Nobody's hiding anything. Well, except me and my partner. <laughs> and everything with Rachel. But... How could I possibly tell Mom what I'm up to? Oh, she would freak. All right, I think that's everything. I'm All right. so tired of pretending things are fine to Mom. I, I always mess up again, and then she gets mad. Maybe... Maybe I should try not to see her today. Hold to another universe, I like that. Okay. Come on, Chloe. It's time to get up and get moving. Oh, we didn't check out Dad's jacket. Gotta do that. Gotta check out Dad's jacket. Dad's favourite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. See, this plant, it definitely needs a water. Oh, come on. Let's water it. Oh, Chloe, not uh, with that. Better than nothing. Chloe. That's going to be one dead plant now. I'm sure it is. I should have just left it. All right. Is mom playing music? What? Huh. Oh, got a message from Victoria. So it's right all along, Rachel Lambert is a fucking evil bitch. Oh yeah, she totally is. I guess you think you're her little sidekick now. Yep. You've got every line of that play fucking perfect. How could that be? You've been planning this, haven't you? Oh no. Oh, crikey, I'm too slow. All right. Let's just... No, Victoria, I want. There she is. Okay, we're here. Oh no, you figured it out. I've had it. I've had it with this school. Nobody gave a shit about me last night. I, it was all Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Oh man, when you're trying to jug someone, and that, then it bites you in the ass. That's just the worst. Fuck you, Chloe. All right. So, what do we need to do? Shower time. Yes. Arcadia Bay picture again. One day I'll look at that and think. Huh, my old home. And not... Fuck this shithole forever. Well, we'll see. 
All right, let's uh, take a look around. Oh, receipt. What receipts? No way. No way. Oh, actually, he sold her ring. Diamond ring, vehicle, list grade B, three hundred dollars. Oh man, no. Joyce. Oh, car calendar. Oh, we can graffiti this Nothing as well. Nothing screams compensating for something like a bright yellow sports car. Oh yeah, and guess what? It is getting some. Sports cars are really good for. Hot rod flames. Nah, hitting on chicks. Hitting on chicks. <laughs> Monthly masterpiece. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else do we have? Mother's Day card. I remember this. Mom loved it. Wait. Is today Mother's Day? Oh no. Shit. Damn it. Alright, this card redeemable for a free breakfast in bed. Love you, William. May 8th, 2005. It's been scientifically proven you're officially the best mum in the world. Happy Mother's Day. Love, Chloe. Uh, what have we got here? Can I just give that to Mum again for Mother's Day? Uh, I don't think that would work, Chloe. Oh. Shit. No. David really is moving in. That's not cool. All right, let's take a look around this side. What's in the drawer? Oh. Yeah, Chloe. <laughs> Was there something I missed over here? No. All right. So if I put this photo out, Mom just hides it in a different drawer? What the hell? Yeah, well, she's moving on now. She keep the photo, but... All right, we have a book. I wonder who gave this to Mom. Putting your foot down, the guy to reigning in your unruly teen, Dr. Bell. Well, I think that's every. Yeah, I think that's everything in here. So let's oops, head and take a shower, I think. Is that... David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Hmm. Okay. My towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just calmly look for it. Yeah, no wrecking the giant chloe. It's not gonna be in here, but it's, we've gotta take a look. Gross. Yeah. No, I mean, leaving these bloody razor all over the place I as well. I truly hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. I bet he's got stuff in the drawer as well, you know. Oh, come here. A logical place for a towel. Yeah, I suppose. Let's take a look. Lots of washcloths. No towel. I mean, is that his comb as well, just left on the side there? Jeez, man. Sort yourself out, David. Maybe Mom threw my towel in here. Yes, she may have done. Nope. No Did awesome spot in that. Towel. All right, so it's got to be in the tub then, hasn't it? I don't even know what's in there. Well, we'll soon find out. <sighs> Score. Well, there's my towel. I believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Oh, let's do it now instead then. Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, 
Don't let me down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's not worse than being under the shower when the hot water dies. Who? Mom's wardrobe. I don't know. Oh, what's in William's clothes? Maybe something handy in there. Take a look at Cone of Fire. I think it's about the only one we haven't actually. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, job done. Not even looking at anything else, cause. All right. One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's yeah, I quite like that one. That'll do. That's grand. Okay. Right, so off to the garage. Oh. Sorry, plant. You're welcome, plant. <laughs> All right, let's head downstairs into the garage and we'll get these tools and head off to the junkyard to fix the car. Fix our wheels. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? Uh, zero percent. <laughs> Pretty much. Definitely not going to avoid him. <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Uh, pretty happy. No, very happy at the present second until we walk in, you know. And um, we start <laughs> probably kicking off at David for rummaging through our stuff, you know. But we shall see. Hey, who's there? Oh, pants. Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you, was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. No. Nope. Yeah, we did. I mean, I, I did, but this is uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Don't start, David. I'm not in the mood. Yeah, happy Mother's Day, Mom. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. 
I... Uh, I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. Well, I'm not staying. <laughs> I'm just here to pick up something. Then I... Uh, I have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom... I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. Look, just don't worry, okay? Well, she's... I, she can't not worry, can she? She's mom. You know, that's what they do. They worry. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. Really? It won't take but a minute. After he went rummaging through our room? Or was that you, Mom? Mom. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. Oh, this is uh, gonna be awkward. Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. <laughs> really? What does that mean? It means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So, mm. if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Even though she had pot yesterday. David. <laughs> On this morning. The idea is... You should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. Yeah, liar. He searched my room. David's lying to your face, Mom. He searched my room. You gave up any right to privacy when Chloe, you... I asked David to help me yesterday, and he only did what he thought was best. You knew? You knew that David went through all of my... That was before I talked to him and explained why I disagreed with that method. But, Chloe, if I'd been able to trust you in the first place... I'm done with this. Chloe, oh, stop. Well, I, don't I know why you're acting this way. And I know you're going to regret it. Come here. Take a look at this. What's this? This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed oh, near the geez. end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. Mm. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, <laughs> I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Uh Here. go on, I feel mum. We'll try this Why again, shall we? Keep this photo for a little while think about what I've said. 
See, that does explain a few things. Because, uh... Like, his friend, his friend died, he couldn't protect him, obviously. Uh, and now he is... trying to... Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh... Go on, we'll accept his offer. We'll be nice, Chloe, today. If he it keeps looks him, so young. If it keeps him off of the back. And this Phil guy... They look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. Well, we'll try. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Oh, man. Hmm. <laughs> Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Yeah, as if we're gonna have a Holy rummage. Crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. Oh, is that it? We're not going to stay? Oh, I wanted to have a rummage. Yeah, I mean, it does. It does explain a few things about David, the way the way he is, and what we see further down the road in Life is Strange. Uh, he's trying to protect people in, like, the only way he knows, but that gets a bit over... over the top. Back to the junkyard and fixing the car, the van, the truck, the whatever you want to call it, the pickup, the yeah. Come on. <sighs> Work with me here. Ouch. Right, we have a wrench. Better. But still needs a bit more love. Don't worry, Chloe, we'll get it I sorted. I can salvage this beast. All right, I just what... need to find the right tool for each problem. All right, what we'll do is we'll take a break here. And then in the next episode, we will fix up this engine. Get the chuck them in and go from there so until then thank you very much for watching and goodbye